Hey guys, welcome to Scott's Review. Today we'll be looking at the JBL Flip 3, the Bose Soundlink Mini 2, and the Beats Pill Plus. Alright, with my helper, a little Lego friend to keep us company. Let's get started. Oh, we'll go to 50%. and you can barely hear it. All right, we go halfway. All right, let's go 100%. different sounds evoke different feelings. But there are places in the heart only music can touch.
sound can touch our emotions directly. And different sounds evoke different feelings. But there are places in the heart only music can touch. Sound can touch our emotions directly. Evoke different feelings. But there are places in the heart only music can touch. Okay, the best way to put it, I kind of drew of what I thought the sound was like. This is very elementary or kindergartenish, you could say. But the flip, it has that really high focused pitch coming right at you, low mids, a little bit of nice bass from the radiators, but really direct sound toward you. The Bose has a nice, uh, of course, the bass is more boomy, um, with nice highs and uh, low mids, and I feel that the beat is kind of all over the place. Um, the, ba the bass is very poppy, more for techno, I think, and more for uh, maybe rap music. Quick. Uh, JBL, I like it for its ruggedness. Um, it's got good high vocals, but it gets down a toyish sounding uh, after a while at longer distance. It's a good personal speaker up close, and for only 80 bucks, it's a it's a great deal. Splash proof. You got the my kid likes to take it with the strap and wrap it around her shoulder and walk around the house with it. So, uh, and I'm not afraid that she'll bang it up too much. Uh, the only bad part I like is low volume. It doesn't get very low. Say so if you're in an office environment. It's going to be a little bit too loud for you if you can't lower it enough. All right, the bows. Um, things I like about it, of course, is the nice, good low volume bass. So when you're in that office environment or home or kitchen, you don't have it very high. It gives a great low bass, nice high um, vocals. When you start to crank it up a little bit too loud, it can get nah, not all there. And it's not as loud as, as the beats. One thing about the bows that's a little unusual, listen to the... Uh, the battery. Battery 70% connected to Scott's iPhone. And now when I pulled up on my phone it shows 80%. Now earlier it showed 90% on my phone and she said it was 70%. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. And I do like the fact if you hit this button on top here and hold it down it will activate Siri. Now what's unusual is that this is a Bose product and Beats when you hit the button on top here, or, or any other button I could find, you can't activate Siri. And this is an Apple product, and you can't activate Siri from the speaker. All right, last thing I'm going to do is go over the pill. This is kind of what started this whole process of looking at all these three speakers. Uh, when I first got it, uh, absolutely did not like it. Um, it sounded like if you had some type of noise cancellation headphones on the whole time, and it. It found it very muddy and, and, and drone-ish, if that makes any sense. Uh, as I more and more played it, it got a little bit better or I got used to what it was trying to give me. They're doing something with, this, with, with the uh, technology inside. It's kind of making it either muddy, they're trying to do something too much with the mids. But I do like the fact that uh, Apple is going down this road. Hopefully they'll get better with, with the Beats. I like the fact that you can use the lightning cable with the iPhone. It makes it very convenient. 